Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 473. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week, and a lot of housekeeping to do. So, anywho, let's hop right into it. So, in the first news is, more amazing G4 My Little Pony movie concept art appears. So, it might be, and uh, it might be ancient at this point on internet times but the G4 movie was a huge undertaking if we were if we really step back and look at it the amount of hands that went into making it is pretty massive another artist has posted up a gallery of all the art they did for the project including cut characters and background elements we never even got to see including stuff that wasn't in the movie book and let's check out the gallery for a bit Ooh. and here he is um i'm just gonna scroll through you guys can uh, click on the links and stuff i'll highlight what i think it's worth mentioning and stuff uh let's see let's see ah this this guy this this guy looks pretty interesting <coughs> so what is he he looks like a fish by the tail he looks aquatic so this could have been a character for the what you call this hmm now that i think about it he does look like one of those people in the uh town crock town is it and so on so on yeah, we get to see oh dehydrated ponies, wet ponies, and the Storm King's minions, the Yeti, if I'm not mistaken. So this is how they look, and in the end, they turn out to be this, I think. Huh, we, we didn't get much. Oh, that's interesting. But as we carry on, like there, there is a lot of uh, interesting concept art here. Uh, this is how the hippogriffs were uh, look like before the movie changed them a bit and yeah we can see uh, some of the inspiration from uh, this kind of creatures and so on and scrolling 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 yeah oh <laughs> uh, this is what captain solano and this is how she looks like in concept and so on and yeah they, they really change a lot they really change the whole concept a lot and this character here looks really cool. Um, a crow pirate? Wow, that, that looks really cool. But we, we didn't get her that way or so on. So, uh, overall, I got the movie book and that was not in there. And yeah, this, this is pretty awesome. This is really awesome. Like, the steps that it took to create the movie and whatnot. And I'm pretty excited for the G5 movie because if it's... If we get to see um, behind the scenes stuff like uh, concept art and whatnot, that is going to be really fun. Anyway, let's move on to the next news. Ha -ha, talking about G5. Six new songs in My Little Pony G5, A New Generation. So according to Ace uh, report, uh, Reportory, we have five songs coming up in G in, in the G5 My Little Pony movie. The titles are as follows. Gonna Be My Day, My Little Pony A New Generation, Fit Right In, I'm Looking Out For You, Danger Danger Angry Mob, Glowing Up. All, uh, all in all, we have six composers throwing their skill into the mix, including Jenna Andrews, Brian Frizel, Taylor Cameron Epsi, Alan Sh Wow, me no good names, uh, Sh Smuckers, and Michael Men uh, Mahel. Oh man, I got no idea how to say these names. Anyway, um, hopefully. That means we have six awesome songs to remix the hell out of. So, 
usually when a title for a song comes out, we we get a general idea of what they're gonna be. Um, gonna be my day. It's one of those things where you get the intro, and it, it's gonna be well, kind of catchy and whatnot. And then we got the new remix for the new intro, so that's gonna be exciting to wait and see or listen, and so on. And from what we see from the trailers, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. We we're gonna get some good songs. I I do I do hope it's up to the level of what Daniel Ingram wrote before, because those were gems. So let's move on. Ah, Mighty Jack reveals Nightmare Moon XX Ray Plus figures, following their second series. And Celestia Mighty Jax is continuing their hidden this uh this pony lines with Nightmare Moon figure complete with the bones and organs you've come to expect out of those. This one will be a hundred and fifty nine dollars with eight point five inch of ponies to throw up on displays. Apparently, we only have to wait until Saturday this time around. And despite what some people are seeing due to a bug in one of their ads, the figure will be around for more than 24 hours. So no need to camp <laughs> the site or anything. So <clears throat> I've told you guys before what I personally think about this figures and they're not my favorite but I do acknowledge that they look really good they look really really good and yeah I mean <laughs> uh, the the, the, uh, the sighted ponies are not my thing and yeah it, it looks good I do acknowledge that I, I do really acknowledge that so if my DJX I guess it's their gimmick. I guess that's the, what they are, uh, what they excel at. Anyway, let's move on. Ah, yes. From that figure to another one. Kotobukiya Hatsune Miku Pony Unpainted Sculpture Reveal. Yay! So, back in May, Kotobukiya announced a new Hatsune Miku Pony crossover figure. And we won't, sorry, uh, and we now finally have an actual prototype unpainted sculpt of it. They still haven't give her a date yet, but the final figure is looking great for all you Miku fans out there. So, <clears throat> give me a second. Who was it? Okay. And, um, yeah, this looks good. This, this looks really good. Uh, let's see if we can open up and check it out for larger scale. Okay. So, as per usual, the pony figure and the uh, human figure are separate and looking here uh, Miku is just Miku like if you seen figures of Miku you probably expect uh, you probably expect um, <laughs> sorry, you probably know what to expect but the pony figure wow that looks great I, I love the detail in the tie where it's kind of flapping around and also uh, the uh, musical note and stream that she's standing on those are pretty cool <clears throat> and yeah o overall this is one of those figures where if you do collect the uh, kotobukiya pony figures this is something you might want to check out and get for yourself so anywho let's move on to well, the last sorry the second to last news and New Humanized Pony Equestrial Line Revealed by um, Ani, Anibus Japan. So let's see what's this. Uh, apparently, the concept of humanizing horses is not dead, at least in Japan. A company called Anibus has released a new line of shirts, uh, standees, keychains, mugs, and various other things starring Twilight, Pinky, and Rainbow Dash in hoodies. Uh, yeah, let's let's go for the full store. Like you know, honestly, this is just this just looks cool, and it seems that Japan has 
Well, the pony trend is not dying down. So, website is all in Japan. So, man, I wish I knew how to read this. Give me a second. This page is too bright. Let me see if I can darken it. Okay. I have tried. Okay, yay, cool. <clears throat> it works. So, anywho, now it's dark. My eyes won't hurt. So, we have shirts, standees, like Seth said, keychains, mugs. And got no idea what's this, but still, th these are pretty cool. And I got no idea what brought this on because, well, My Little Pony, as a brand, has some pool and it's known worldwide. But my real question here is in terms of what is this in Japan? Like, how, suddenly? Why? The art looks great and whatnot, and if I'm not mistaken, Equestria Girl hasn't really shown all of it in Japan. Like, uh, most of the Equestria Girl series are up to um, the third movie, something like that. I, I could be mistaken. But we get all this quote unquote uh custom art and whatnot. You know, I'm gonna just try and click one of the standees, see how it works. And yeah, um this this looks good. This looks good. And I'm guess I'm guessing you guys at home are probably wondering why this? Like what are you gonna do with it? It's just going to be Sitting on your whatever it is. I mean, it's not going to be great, right? That's why you're wrong, folks. Because I have this Fluttershy standy. Oh, God. It needs to zoom in. And the zoom is not auto. God dang it. So, anywho. Um, I bought this at one of a con. I forgot which one. It could be um, Sipony Con Thailand. And... Or was it Singapore? I forgot. Hmm. Okay, anyway, um, it was a fun experience. I I bought it and I put it on my um monitor on top of my monitor, and whenever I sit down and look up, I see Fluttershy. Yay! So, it's a nice kind of decorative thing if you're into the character and whatnot. Uh, it's cheaper than having a figure. And so on, so yeah, but man, this really confused me by why, uh, who drew this and what's this all about. But hey, uh, if Japan has their thing, so that's awesome. And let's move on to the last news. <clears throat> Boulder Media recruiting for Secret 2D Animation Netflix project with Pony Life Header. Mm. So the banner or the whatever it is it's, uh, it says we're hiring to the animators wanted for a super secret netflix show boulder media click the link in the post to apply so this everything was on twitter and so on so mm, <laughs> okay um in all honesty this could be pony related. This could not be pony related. My bet is not for now. And Boulder Media has done a lot of projects, but uh, one of their big client projects, in my opinion, and as I know of without doing any research, is My Little Pony. Because My Little Pony has that, well, it has the, what you call this? uh heritage that legacy that pool it was it's well known across all the internet it's it's there it's only it's a pony's own thing and using ponies as their what you call this um attraction to work on 2d animation it makes sense but like i said we got no idea if it's pony related or not and in all honesty i think what they should have done was use all the 
IPs that they've worked on before to kind of attract people to come and work for them. Unless this project is a pony project, then yes, that makes sense. But overall, <clears throat> we got no idea, but if you are a 2D animator and want to work in the industry, you can try and apply. Who knows? You might get the job and you might be creating awesome 2D shows for kids and adults worldwide. Yay. And I'm done with the news. So, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing my week? So, there's a few things. Ooh, okay, hand here. Yeah, good, okay. Um, I, I guess I do this? Right, right. There is a few things that happened to me recently. Um, I think housekeeping is in order. So, you're probably wondering what happened to last week? Why was there no podcast? And. It's no show at all because uh, last week we didn't post anything at all, including the review and discussion podcast. And the reason was that I was, well, reason one was I was trying to collect news, or, well, more news, and thought about, hey, um, these news are kind of slow and a bit, you know, um, down to earth. No, not really. I mean, low key and kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? A kind of mellow. Yes, that's that's the word. So th the news were kind of mellow. So I thought, you know what? I could compile this with next week. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason was I took my uh, second dose of the pandemic shot and that kind of took me out uh, i was a bit tired i got sick for a bit and yeah i just needed the rest so yeah um second one was due to not being well so yeah so um kind of uh, made it up this week with six news which is kind of amazing we rarely have six news this um uh, sorry we rarely have six news uh going into recording nowadays usually two uh, three and four and i i i, I right now honestly when i do the recording nowadays i try to keep it at um three and above because two news would be too short and probably mm, won't be much so I, I tried to compile them and whatnot if possible <clears throat> but anywho um this week we have six that's awesome and yeah um if there's three i'll do a recording so now i'm just rambling so anyway uh the other is that um recently one of my hard disks died and that took out almost 90% or is it 80% it, let's just say it took out a huge percentage of my computer like it wasn't the operating system side of it but it was mostly the uh, what you call this uh, it was mostly the the D drive the data so it took out all of my applications all of my pictures and music and oh god music oh god dang it oh man uh, now that i think about it i need to yeah music oh man so like i mentioned before it took out a lot of my things so i may need to look for backups and whatnot but yeah um this week has not been kind to me so my pictures, my music, my games and whatever were gone totally, like finito, kaput. So yeah, kind of stressed out with that one. Now that I really think about it, like, oh man, my work things are gone. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to 
climb back slowly. And you know what? Ah, oh, man. Doing the new show is quote-unquote simple because I'm just doing this. Doing the review show is going to be a bit difficult because of, well, I need to grab back stuff and just need to do a lot of stuff. And I do hope that it's not going to be a hassle. So, yeah. Oh, man, now I'm, now I'm stretching out. God dang it. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on, let's move on. Um, besides all that, I have not been playing much games. But uh, one of the few games that I did play was Dungeons and Dragons. And I, I know, like, wait, Norman plays Dungeons and Dragons? That's not like him. What happened to the Magic the Gathering and stuff? Yes, I do play that too on a... Sometimes, right? Like, I don't know why, but seems nowadays most of my playgroups seems to be really busy, not really, um, not really wanting to play. So the other group that I have, or mostly from from the same friends, uh, are starting to play Dungeons and Dragons, and you know what? It was a lot of fun, and I wanted to play. And honestly. Um, the game started last night, which was on a Friday, and I'm recording this on a Saturday. And like I mentioned before, all of my stuff was gone, so I didn't have my application, I didn't have my programs or whatever it is, so I didn't really get the chance to record the first uh, proper game. And that kind of sucks. Because the first game was kind of cool. <sighs> yeah. Man. Can't do much. Um, we just have to roll over punches. So, what I have done to mitigate the problem was go buy a new hard disk, uh, install it, and reinstall whatever I need to reinstall. And now I need to move files back to the hard disk where. I need uh, one of the few things is the MBS show, um, M <laughs> the MBS show um, intro music and outro music. So yeah, that I need to get back and so on. <laughs> Man, this is this is a real headache. But I mentioned before, just keep going, just keep going. So anywho, talking about keeping going, if you guys. <laughs> Have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show? You can contact us at thebsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at thebsshow, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also reach us. Sorry, you can also <laughs> and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also stitch radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on live.com Links will be in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe and rate us for... Sorry, uh, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast and also uh, rate us on the iTunes and Stitch Radio. Uh, uh, over there, you'll catch me and Tara reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and whatever it is. And also, we like to do other things than ponies. And those are cartoon, anime, comic books, mangas, movies, and video games. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review the discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.